Hello everyone. So today we will need a sheet of paper and a pencil with an eraser. Today we are going to be drawing our very own self-portrait, but to do that we need to learn a little bit more about our facial proportions. So here I am. I drew an upside down egg shape for my head. I added two lines on either side for the neck and then I threw some shoulders in there. The next step is to make my sketch look a little bit more like a face. So I'm going in, I'm making my lines a little bit more crisp and perfect. So the next step to creating our portrait is to divide our face in half. So these lines we want to make sure we do super lightly because they are not going to stay. After we draw our line in half, we need to draw another line in half the other way. So if you need to measure with your fingers, that can be helpful or you can just kind of eyeball it. I'm making my chin a little bit shorter because I noticed the one side was a little bit longer than the other. Our next step is to cut our face in half once again, but this time from the middle line to our chin. We're gonna find that halfway point. I brought mine a little bit higher because I thought it was a little bit too low. Now we're going to find our halfway point from the bottom of our chin to that line that we just drew. And now I'm just labeling what each of these lines are going to turn into. You do not need to label yours. I'm just doing this so it's a little bit easier to tell what is going to go where. So we have a line for the bottom of our nose, a line that's going to turn into our mouth, and a line for our eyes. This line is also where the top of our ears go. So if we have short hair and we're going to be able to see our ears a little bit in our self-portrait, you're going to want to put the very tippy top at this line. So now this might be the trickiest part of the proportions. We need to draw five circles and they need to be about the same size. We want the third circle to be directly in the middle. So as you can see, I went over my eyes a little bit to kind of make them the right size. And now what we're going to do is we are going to turn two of them into our eyeballs. We do this because generally the width of our face is five eye lengths. So however wide our eye is, we should be able to fit about five of them across our face. So now I'm just adding the bottom of my nose and I'm adding a mouth. This does not need to be perfect. We can do it again and make our facial features look more like our own, but it's good to practice where each of these features go. So here I am drawing the ears so you can kind of see where they belong. And the bottom of the nose is also where the bottom of the ears are going to land. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in and erase all of those lines and all those extra eyeballs. And this is when you can really start to add your features so it looks a little bit more like yourself. Next class, we are going to be transforming these portraits with our use of color and line to
to fit in with our movement background. So we will start this portion of the project next class. So make sure you have a good sketch that you love, a nice self-portrait, and we will add some color to it next time.